What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the MRFA YouTube channel. Today we've got another first and last with um, MRFA coach Matt Talman. Run the titles. So Matt, uh, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So Matt, uh, what was the first concert you went to? So uh, the first concert I went to was um, in 2010. It was the New Market Races. Um, <laughs> the X Factor finalists were there. So oh, I no. literally, um, well, was listening to the, watching and listening to the X Factor finalists. And you won't believe it. I don't know if many of you have heard of them, but Jedward were there. So it was um, <laughs> a great night for all. Oh, that must have been, it must, it must have been unbelievable. I, I, I imagine the crowd were on their feet. Well, there was no chairs, so yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so, Matt, what was the last uh, meal you had? Uh, last meal I made was last night. Um, made spaghetti bolognese, so um, oh, yeah, one of my signatures. I'm impressed by the, the by the skill. Well, what can I say, mate? What sort of stuff do you put in it? Is there anything special you put in it, like a bit of like Liam Perry and that sort of thing? That's what I chuck uh, in mine. Uh, I use the dalmio sauce. Um, put the garlic bread yeah. in the oven. Cook the pasta and <laughs> hey presto, you, you've got it when the mince is cooked, you're set. Nice, excellent stuff. I mean, pa is one of my favourite things to cook, so uh, hands up, that's that's a quality one for me. So, uh, what was your first pet, Matt? Uh, so, I can't remember how old I was, but I remember having a, a dog. I had a Labrador called Bruno. Um, <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> yeah, so that's my that's me last that's me that's my first and last pet. Unfortunately, I've had. Is he a good dog? Yeah, really good. Um, love Maltesers. Probably shouldn't have given it chocolate, but really enjoy mm. Maltesers. <laughs> don't, don't know about that one, mate. That's a bit dodgy. He ah, it it lasted <laughs> till he was 15, so he had a good life. Oh, that's, that's, that's not bad. That, that, that is that is just good going, that one. So, um, Matt, what was the last uh, book you read? Um, the last book I read was, um, it's called That's Not My Bus. Um, <laughs> I read it to me, um, my son, my little boy. He, um, he enjoys the book. I enjoy it. There's not much words in it. It's a lot of pictures with like shiny doors and um, rough radiators in the bus. So it's, um, yeah, really good book. Really enjoy it. But but, but, but you personally, what, did you learn anything from it? Is there a moral to the story in the end? Um, there's no moral, really. It's just a, a feely book. So um, like here, oh. it says, that's not my bus. The bumper's too squashy. And then you squash <laughs> the bumper. And it's just like a sensory thing. It's great. Really enjoy it. <laughs> nice. I, I bet you're learning as well from that. Uh, well, I'd, I'd hope the bus bumper isn't too spongy, to be honest. So, uh, what was the first job you had? Uh, so the first job I had was when I was 14. Um, I'd done football refereeing, so got a little bit of pocket money. Um, it was a bit of a pain. Some parents can be a pain, but... <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> football imagine. Football refereeing, innit? <laughs> Did you have ever any, any problems that stood out at any one particular moment that, that it just, you know, stood uh, out? No, not really. Um, not really. I've only ever given one yellow card in my career, though. So I oh, really? Ref, oh, you're, like you're, you're say, quite, yeah. quite lenient, really. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it is harder to give kids uh, yellow cards than it, than adults, isn't it? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, but if it's a yellow card, it's a yellow card. So yeah, it is. Uh, if it's a book, it's a book. I remember I, I was booked for diving once. Well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. When was the last time you went on holiday? Uh, so I went actually this year. So. I went in July um, when things were kind of slightly reopening. Um, went to Great Yarmouth and went for a caravan holiday um, in a Haven holiday. So uh, went for nice. a week up there. Um, yeah, it was really enjoyable actually. It was nice just to get away for a little bit. First little family holiday as mm -hmm. well. So yeah, it was, was, the weather, was the weather any good? Weather was okay. Like, a bit windy at times, but it's a beach. Like it's very hit and miss at times. But I, I've been to Yarmouth. It's, it's nice along, along that uh, coast up there. So yeah, it's really really nice bit of coastline. So yeah, quality. So uh, Matt, what is the first thing you do every morning when you wake up? Um, well, I normally get woken up by Noah crying, so or Noah being awake. So first thing I normally do is get out of bed, and then go and check on him, get him out, and then well, get him ready for the day, get him changed, make sure he has nice. some breakfast. And then, Definitely. What, what's, what's, what's Noah's favourite breakfast? Uh, he really likes Weetabix. 
So wee a bit's wee a bit, nice, a bit yeah. of milk. He has to have it microwaved, so it's got to be a little bit warm. I, I, I have to have it I have to, I have to have cereal microwaved. I, I can't have cold milk. It's weird, but I can't have cold milk. It's all, it has to be heated. It's it's so weird. That's the way it is. So what was the last uh, takeaway food you had? Um, so the last takeaway that I had was uh, for my little boy's birthday. We had a Chinese. Um, he didn't have any. Nice. Like, we just thought we'd celebrate <laughs> it ourselves. Um, so, um, yeah, I do enjoy Chinese. Happy birthday, Noah. We're getting Chinese. and Enjoy your gloop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, he was looking yeah. at all the food on the table. It was, um beef chow mein, special fried nice. rice, chilli beef, uh, a bit of yeah. sweet and sour pork. Um, and we like the chicken and veg with the gravy, so... Um, oh, nice. I, yeah. I, I always like getting my prawn crackers and like just piling with food and then like, bite. oh, I'll tell you what, unbelievable. Yeah. Like a, a prawn cracker full of food. It's, just, it's meant to be that way, I swear. I love it. And we also had a little stuff. bit of egg food young in there as well, so that's something I'd add a little bit extra. So, uh, Matt, what was the first sporting event you went to? Um, so, I'm not sure if it was my first, but it's my first memory of a sporting event. Um, 21st of December, 2004. Um, Ipswich versus Wigan at Portman Rose. Um, I mean, what, purely because it was freezing what, what cold. What an enthralling contest! What an enthralling contest that must have been. Well, it was. Um, it was I, I remember it being a great game. It was um, freezing cold, one-one, and in the 89th minute, Darren Bent popped up and scored the winner for Ipswich. So, oh, Darren, um, Darren Bent, what a legend! Ah, uh, he's a Ipswich legend for us. But um, would you believe Leighton Baines scored for Wigan on that oh, night? Unbelievable! So unbelievable. it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> So that, that, I think your first game was the same as mine. My my first game was two thousand and four as well. Mine was my first game was the first game that Cesc Fabregas played for Arsenal as well. There you go. Interesting. So uh, who was your first footballing hero? Uh, so my first footballing hero um, is probably one that well people might know a little more is Ika Casillas. Um, I think started at Real Madrid really young and it was just like he just went on from there. Um, was at Real Madrid for Real Madrid for countless years. Um, stayed with one club, very loyal, and in the end, obviously he's gone to Porto. But what a career he's had for Real Madrid! Countless yeah. Champions Leagues, World Cup winner, Euros winner, mm -hmm. is yeah one of the best goalkeepers ever. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. But uh, Matt, thanks so much for coming on. I look forward to getting back at training, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the video, guys. There's plenty more to come. I hope you learned a bit about Matt today. Um, subscribe. Leave a comment, like the video, and we'll see you later.